a special day on Great Day Colorado as we welcome back our favorite holistic vet, Dr. Q. She is one of our, she's one of the best vets in our state and works with all sorts of animals and medicine, surgery, holistic alternatives and more. There's nothing this woman can't do, <laughs> let me tell you. So she's a wealth of knowledge also and she educates us all on all things animal care. And today she is here to update us on some important events and milestones that are happening at her rescue ranch. I got to go out there for the first time during Christmas and man is it beautiful. You guys, if you have a chance to go out during one of our events, totally recommend. But first and foremost, let's talk about Rescue Ranch, some of the projects that you have going on uh, for folks out there who may not know. Yeah, so uh, we are in the process of uh, building a big uh, horse sanctuary community center. Right? Yeah. So that's the vision, is to have this big building where you know, veterans and families and everybody can come and hang out and have um, horse training classes, specifically focusing on positive reinforcement training, of course, because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. And so the ground is pretty much ready. So now The ground is frozen, but ready. <laughs> frozen, right. yeah. ready. And um, yeah, so just, I was just telling you that we yeah. met with a couple, I got to, going to be meeting with a couple of builders soon so that we can start drawing up some plans and moving right along. You're rocking and rolling. Yeah, big awesome. plans. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Uh -huh. yeah. So Dr. Q, tell us uh, about the YouTube channel. Yeah, okay, Ooh. so, um, Gonna totally revamp it. Okay, so I keep okay. trying. You know, so we were we were trying, doing a live out there, trying to get yeah. people to like. And thank you for everybody that signed up. That was wonderful. Um, but I have new videos coming, a whole new nice. series Good. I'm going to be doing. Um, so I just wanted to kind of pique everybody's interest and stay tuned and see what we do. Okay. And do you still have your Etsy shop? I do still have the okay. Etsy shop. You guys have to go on our Etsy <laughs> shop. Cutest stuff ever. And I'm still looking forward to those like wasabi pajamas. I know. <laughs> I know. I haven't quite got those on okay. there. Maybe, we, maybe, maybe next year. And we'll, we'll get, get those there. there. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh you were there when we talked <laughs> about yes. that, right? I'm just trying to picture it. I know. I know. It's the best. <laughs> so you have a lot of fun stories at the rescue, right? I mean, you just, you have a... Um, a horse that you and I were just talking about, a Mustang, yeah. uh, that you rescued. A lot of fun stories. Can you tell us just one of them that uh, our viewers can really, you know, take away from this segment? Yes. So I sent a video. I don't know if you guys got it or not of one of the Mustang. That's mm -hmm. uh, what I wanted you guys to see today. There we, there we go. Because, um, I just, I, I don't know if people really realize that wild Mustangs in Colorado and really around the country are being kind of <laughs> rounded up with yes, helicopters, you know, it, it, a lot of damage is happening to them if they even survive the roundup. Uh, this guy here, he survived the roundup and, you know, if a beautiful we, horse. I yeah, know. thanks. If we didn't have yeah. him, he'd either be, you know, hopefully not, but maybe shipped off to slaughter or be living in a holding pen. You know, we have over 50,000 horses that are living in just in holding pens all around Colorado. And do you know if just 5% of horse owners in the United States adopted a wild Mustang, we wouldn't have any in holding pens anymore. 5%. None. That's all it would take. I mean, so for your viewers out there, if they either own horses or know people that have horses, I mean, really just... 5% of the population of people that already own horses is mm -hmm. not that much um, for everybody to adopt one. And then if people are afraid of doing that because they're intimidated by training them or whatever, keep in mind my two kids adopted that horse and trained him. Yes, you told me about that. Right, and so, you know, we can help. You know, we definitely can help and make it as safe as possible. And so, you know, really, if we can just get these horses out of these holding pens and out of these ter terrible situations so that they can have a good life um, if they're not going to be allowed to run free. <laughs> right, right. Well, you're doing your part. You have one in your uh, your stable over there. Yeah, we'd like to get more for sure. Yes. You know, so once we get the building going and everything to where we have more of a facility, we'll definitely be doing that and, you know, showing people what we do along the way and how we did things with him. Like we took him to Horse Expo last year and he did mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay. You know, so. And that's um, coming up. The that's horse coming Expo. up. Uh -huh. Horse Expo is definitely coming and up. And you're going to be there. I'm going to be there. Definitely need volunteers. So if anybody wants yeah. to come hang out the booth with Go us. hang out with Dr. Q. You know, yeah. And so uh, we're going to be bringing horses, um, a booth, um, presenting. It's going to be a whole thing. So we really need volunteers. So if anybody can help us with that, that would be great. The okay. other thing we really need is help with fixing our tractor. Okay, uh, fixing the tractor. Yes, we really need the tractor is down. And it's really a problem because we can't clear the snow away right now. And so the horses are mm. having to deal with like more ice and snow. And so 
you know, anybody out there is, okay. we could really use some help with some funds to handymen. Come on, get the tra the track. We need you. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we're going to give you guys some more information. If you or someone you know can help Dr. Q, just uh, send her an email. Give her a call. Aspen Park Vet Hospital. Just go to drqnu.org or rescueranch.org. You can also check out Dr. Q's YouTube channel called The One Dr. Q, or give her a call 303-8387 or sorry 3771 as seen on your screen. And don't forget anyone who buys a shirt off of her Etsy gift shop for the Rescue Ranch, gets a lifelong free admission to the ranch. Is that right? That's right. Oh my gosh, I need to buy my t-shirt. Once Wasabi <laughs> is on that t-shirt. Yeah. Okay. okay, all right. See, there you go. We want to say thank you again to Aspen Park Vet Hospital and of course Rescue Ranch for sponsoring the segment. Thanks, Dr. Q.